Hey guys, I'm doing something a bit different where the music for this review will be done by other people. So this review is brought to you by my stonery friends over at Solar Temple and Canterbury Tales fanboy to Sarian Myth. Hope you enjoy! Let's fuck off with the pageantry here and get right to it. Ty Seagal's Ty Seagal. It's nothing too crazy, yet at the same time it's not bad at all and I can honestly say that for any of Ty's albums. His music works super well in a live venue or show, but studio wise, I can put this on in the background and it'd be nice, but I won't get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Then again, that's just my personal preference on that type of specific music. He'll do some little nice twists and turns from time to time, but at the same time, you get what you get when you hear a Ty Seagull album, which is usually a raw and or aggressive, noisy, garagey, psyche rock album. If you like any of his other works, then you'll enjoy this. Fuck off. Neo C. C. Arega's Mouth Moods. The Lemon Demon himself is back with a new mashup comedy album, and bearing some songs, I didn't find myself laughing at this at all. Some of the humor is based around internet comedy, meme bullshit, and people who know me know that I don't like that type of bullshit. The novelty of how goofy and intricate these mashups are wear off on me after repeated listening. If I were drunk with a group of my pals, then maybe I'll enjoy this a lot more, but I'm a grumpy, stupid, little, lonely, young fuckhead who has no fun whatsoever. This album is a definite improvement from his past two mashups, and if you do enjoy this type of humor, then by all means, listen to it and you will have a grand time. Fuck off. Dungeon Synth Corner. Fortress of Mystery, La Rose de Fer. It sounds like it should be an outsider album, but it doesn't go too far off the cliff like Echoloth Records of Canada. However, it does have amateur recording and Casio sounds that make it feel outsider, but there is some clear coherence in the mud of cheesy, low fidelity that masks this. Four somewhat lengthy tracks that should make the listener feel uneasy with how some of the Casio sounds are dubbed over one another, plus a loosey-goosey harp noise that repeats in the last two tracks makes La Rose de Fer a weird but nice little listen. Moongate's Guardian, let horse be bridled, horn be sounded. I like summoning. I like summoning so much that I like it when a black metal band or artist would try to pay homage, rip off, and or sound like them. Elfer, Calden Brood, and La Order du Temple are good examples of this, both in Wow These Guys Sound Like Summoning and Wow These Guys Are Really Good. Moongate's Guardian is the equivalent of your grandparents buying you the Chinese knockoff that they thought you wanted and then returned it to get an even worse Chinese knockoff. An overall bland, below average, quote unquote, epic black metal album that doesn't do anything for me, nor will it do anything for you. Old Tower, The Rise of the Scepter. This is how you do an album right. Sounding old school while not having too much glossy production that can ruin other albums. Two 14, 15 minute long tracks that definitely have a mortis influence sound to it. Dark medieval, brooding atmosphere is able to invoke wonderful dark fantasy-esque imagery. I highly recommend this. This is a really strong album. Back to the original programming. Lit Ku Clemetti's Juna Kainusin. Imagine a female Finnish aerial pink and this is basically what you get. A fun little lo-fi psych poppy indie album that doesn't really take any risk but has a sense of sweetness to it. It's nothing too amazing, but you can only do so much with that style of music to garner some type of positive result, and I think it's able to do an all right job. Fuck off. Bedwetter Volume 1, flick your tongue against your teeth and describe the present. Everyone's favorite Little Ugly Man. Little Ugly Man is back at it again with a wonderfully done experimental hip-hop album that has these great ambient-esque instrumentals and beats, an overall dark and scary atmosphere. If you love LUM, then you're going to enjoy this release. This is definitely an early favorite of mine for the year. And that's it. I'll see you on, on the other side, I think. I, I, don't, I don't know.